And so some changes happening in downtown Jacksonville. Another ramp is set to be torn down. We're talking about the Main Street Bridge ramp. That's the one that's next to the Jacksonville landing or what once was the landing. It is scheduled to be demolished sometime next year. On your side, Troy Kless is joining us live tonight from the area, which is a popular walkway for many Troy. That's exactly right. Since we've been here, we've seen many people walking and exercising and even riding their bicycles down this ramp here, which not many cars were using it today, but like you just mentioned, it is next to the site of the old Jacksonville landing. And again, it is still really curious to a lot of people why exactly the ramp is being torn down. Driving skateboarding or walking the Main Street Bridge. No, we love it. Many people like Don Moore take advantage of the bridge's walkways. It's a lot of fun because like uh, there's not a lot of traffic on on the on the walkway a lot of times, but like we can also see a lot of we can see some wildlife down on the river. The North Bank ramp from Independent Drive to the Main Street Bridge will be torn down in February. F dot says they say this has been on the radar since 2014. The project to cost $1.3 million. The Downtown Investment Authority tells our news partners, the Florida Times Union, the ramp has long been perceived as a site impediment with little traffic value, but it has value to some people like Jennifer Walters. I like to be able to come out here and unwind and work out, and there's just no other place like that around here, so just kind of disappointing. FDOT says the project could last from February to September, which Moore hopes doesn't block his strides through downtown. I mean, if it's going to be an improvement, I mean, that's great, but like, and, and we're willing to, if there's, a, if there's an alternate route for us to get across, it's not going to be a problem, but. And as you can see, people are waiting for the Main Street Bridge to go back down so they can cross over. Now, a city spokesperson confirms that there will be a pedestrian ramp that will be built after this project is completed, but we don't know what exactly that is going to look like at this point. Now, coming up on First Coast News at 6, I'll tell you a little bit about how this may change some of the plans that could eventually be in place for the Jacksonville Landing. We're live in downtown Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.